Hello, beautiful soul. So I wanted to give you a brief introduction to the god Ptah, the Egyptian deity Ptah, and explain to you some of his associations with our modern day Oscar. So this is Ptah. He is the head of what is known as the Memphis Triad, one of the most sacred triads in Egypt, although you may be more familiar with the Abydos Triad of Egypt, which consisted of Osiris, Isis, and their divine child of Horus. Uh, how However, Ptah was the head of the triad of Memphis with his sacred to me wife Sekhmet and their divine child Nefertum. Ptah is one of the oldest deities in Egypt, one of the few who was self-created. And in fact, a lot of our Bible origins are thought to stem from Ptah because Ptah is known as he who spoke the world into being. He said, let there be light. He spoke the world and the light into into being through the power of his word and through the power of language. And so many, many religious associations that we have throughout the world, in addition to modern day Oscar ceremonies, have connections to Ptah, although people do not realize it. He was known as a Lord of truth, a Lord of eternity, he who listens to prayers. And he was in fact sacred to the regions of Memphis in Egypt and Saqqara, where we have the earliest step pyramid. Many of his temple walls were either painted or carved with symbols of ears so that his people could speak their prayers directly to him. He was known as a master manifester and a patron deity of craftsmen and architects. He carried what was known as the Waz Scepter. And when we take a look at Oscar in a moment, you will see the similarities there with the stance and the scepter. But the Waz Scepter is a combination of this Waz symbol here at the top, the Ankh symbol there in the center, that loop, and the Dejed pillar symbol, the Dejed highly associated with the god Osiris as well, and Ptah was later known to be also associated with Osiris, with Ra, and with the god Sokar, as in later times we have the combination or the amalgamation of many of our deities from Egypt. He is often seen as standing or sitting in his mummified position and with his wife, the sacred Sekhmet, they neutralize their negative energies in which he becomes unmummified and in which they create their divine child of Nefertum. Now to take a quick look at Oscar here, our modern day Oscar looks quite similar to this stance of Ptah, does it not? This is an ancient statue currently located in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. And this image here of Oscar, you can see in the stance and in the carving, he's so similar to the god Ptah. And though some try to associate Oscar imagery with that of Osiris, if you look here at a statue of Osiris, you can tell that his crowns are quite different to the skullcap crown more associated with Ptah, which does resemble, in my opinion, what many thought was a shaved head of Oscar. And although it has never been officially confirmed by the Oscar ceremonies, I believe that there is a strong association here. Whether the sculptor was channeling from Ptah as a craftsman or architect, knowing it or not, or whether that was intentionally placed there as a devotional to Ptah, that choice is going to be up to you and up to history to decide. But I wanted to point it out today as when I am currently uploading this, we are in Oscar day and Oscar season and I always find it interesting because I happen to love and be very close to the god Ptah and the goddess Sekhmet. So I hope that this information has enlightened you today, has helped empower you today in your explorations of the ancient world, how it can connect to our modern world and to your spirituality however you are being called. If you are called to work with someone spiritually and you would like spiritual support through the form of quantum reading, reading sessions, Akashic Records readings, energy healing, enlightened merch, digital download tools, and so much more, you can visit me on my website, www.damseldesigns, that's D-A-M-C-L designs.com. For now, be blessed and know that if you have a prayer you need heard and you're being called to Pata, he will absolutely 
in my opinion, hear you. Remember too that he not only created himself, his family, and the world as he knew it through the power of his word, but also through his heart. So if you are manifesting something and you are called to work with Ptah, remember to work with those two elements of the heart and the sacred word and know that there is power, just as much power in your heart and words as there is in Ptah and those who work with him. He may be calling you through this video today, through his sacred imagery, through the apis bull, which is sacred to him, or many other forms of communication or contact. If he is calling you and you have found this video today, I see you fellow sister, traveler, seeker, or brother, and I'm so thankful that you spent this time with myself and Pata today. Be blessed and keep manifesting from the heart with love, light, and light codes, love, Danielle, hashtag damsel, at these enlightened edits of damseldesigns.com.